tattoo, it's permanent. It's always gonna be with you. It's a sign of what you've been through. Having a tattoo just kind of helped me express how I'm feeling about a certain thing, and that's why I think they mean so much to me. My first tattoo was this lion with his tiger and this wolf tattoo. The lion usually hunts by itself when it's like in the field. We look at each other on the field as either a lion, tiger, or wolf, it's like a, a beast who's like go after or go after each other. So therefore, the tiger or the lion usually hunts by itself, and he has the wolf who hunts together as a team. I just don't have something that's just random, but they all mean something to me, and I think that wearing it on my body is like kind of wearing your emotions on your sleeve, so it kind of has that kind of feeling to me. I have a tattoo on my right arm that is a poem that's known as Footprints in the Sand. Second tattoo, I have a pancreatic cancer ribbon. Um, both of my grandparents, both my grandmothers died of stage four pancreatic cancer, so I, I live on with, through them with the tattoo on my arm. I have a lion and a, and a rose, kind of my idea of my, my mom and my dad and what they instill in me. Each one does have a different meaning and I try to be unique with it. I never want to have the same tattoo anybody else has, of course. But um, one of my back is my last name, but within my last name I have a wolf in it with wolf, wolf eyes. And my dad is probably the biggest influence in my life. And he's always preached that Jacob were some wolves, were a pack, were a family. And my grandma, she meant everything to me, but she passed away when I was younger. And I just always wanted something to have and still remember her. I added on to my grandma's tattoo, her name. Uh, I added on a guardian angel. It says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And I dream big, so everything I dream now is basically what I want in my future. So if I believe in my dreams, then that's what my future will hold. It was on my chest, it's uh, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It just meant a lot to me at that moment. Uh, my grandmother passed away. I have a tattoo of her as well on my chest. My grandmother passed away um, going into that year. And that, that Bible, verse, Bible verse helped me get through a lot of things. The ones specifically that mean a lot to me, uh, just my whole chest piece, the ones especially on the top of my chest, it's my mother's name, my father's name, and my grandmother's name. Uh, my grandmother meant a lot to us. She raised my mother's generation as well, my generation. Spent summers at her house, so she just practically raised my whole family. Um, and my mother and my father, it just speaks for herself. They just were a building block of my, my whole life. It's a picture of Jesus on the cross, and uh, it's an optical illusion. It also has his face. Um, like around the cross. That was my first one and I was uh, 17 when I got that. My DMV tattoo, that's where I'm from. That's the second tattoo I got. Um, I just like having that one because uh, I feel like it's unique. It's permanent, so that's kind of means a lot for me. Like if you put something more in you, your body that's there forever, it, it kind of has to have a, a special meaning to you and it's because it's always gonna be there. So um, that's really what I like about tattoos is uh, it, it's a way to express yourself that never goes away.